Hi, I'm Karen Belbeer with a quick tip for arranging apps in the pre-K classroom. I want to go ahead and share my iPad with you. Uh, in a session earlier this year, uh, I was chatting with pre-K teachers and we wanted to create our rules in the background. And so we started talking about how we want our students to have some choices for apps, but maybe that we would uh, make those particular apps visible for students so they would know exactly which apps to use. And so I'm going to share with you how to arrange your apps to make what we talked about in our plan um, uh, possible, okay? So first thing, I want to move some apps out of the way. I have all of these apps that I don't really want my pre-K students to get into, so let's go ahead and get rid of them. You're going to hold your finger down on one app, pick any app you'd like, and you'll notice they begin to wiggle, and this allows them to move around and you're able to arrange your apps. We want to move all of our apps off the first page. So I'm going to take one app, hold it right here on the side of my screen, and let go. And just like that, those apps will move over. So I'm going to move one more. And now let's go into warp speed and clean up my iPad. OK, now that we've finished moving those apps around, I still want this jiggling here. I have no more apps on my home screen here, except for here, here in the dock, which we're going to get to in a moment. So now it's very visible, all of my rules for my students. And now down here in the dock, one thing that you'll notice is that all of these apps, no matter what page I'm on, always remain on the bottom. So we want to put those uh, most frequently used apps or the apps we're going to have our students use today or for the week down there docked at the bottom so that no matter what page they're on, they always know where those apps are that we want them to use during our class time. And so I'm going to take you through how to move those apps that you want available and these other apps out, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing, hold my finger down, and they jiggle there. I'm going to go over to, well, we'll drop them off here on this page. Let's go. All right, I'm going to move my apps up. I don't really want my pre-K students searching Safari, so I'm going to bring those up here. But one thing I do want is I want them to have access to this camera, and I want them to use Educreations, I want them to use Hello Crayon, and maybe PBS Kids for uh, this week. So I'm going to keep those docked down here on the bottom. And so what happens is when I hit my home button one more time, it takes, to, takes me to my first home page, my home page. And you'll notice now it's clear with my rules and all of the apps that I want them to use are here at the bottom. If your pre-K students swipe over, that's okay. They still have those apps docked down here on the bottom. Another little tip for arranging apps would be to put some of those um, apps that you don't want students using on a regular basis in a little folder and tuck them away. And we'll call that folder boring stuff. Things that they tap on that folder, they see there's nothing really special in there for them, and they tend to go right back out, some of them anyway. Um, and so let me show you how to do that real quick. I want to create a folder. I'm going to hold my finger down on an app I don't want students to use, like Maps. And I'm going to drag them on top of my mail. There we go. And I can rename this instead of navigation. I'm just going to call this No. And I might tell my students, this is uh, that folder I don't want you to go into. OK. Yeah. I was having some technical difficulties there. All right, done. So now it says, no, I can teach them that word. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and bring in all of these apps that I don't want my students to use, the reminders and the, uh, let's see my calendar and so forth, so that I can tuck this folder maybe on the last page or another page in which I don't want my students to, uh, maybe they wouldn't see it right away if they were um, in the center. So I'll hit my home button again. And remember the next time I hit my home button, there we go, right back, clear page, very obvious which apps I want them to use today during class. So my name is Karen Balbeer and I want to thank you for joining me for a quick tip on how to arrange your apps for the pre-K classroom.